What's up, my people? Bliss up on yourself. Welcome back to another video. Please subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. And also click the top bell icon to get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel. And also give this video a thumbs up. So, as usual, my people, we have some things I'm going to share with you guys. So, the first thing we are going to start with, my people. Murdered while packing to leave Dunkirk. See, so the two persons were get killed yesterday. In a Dunkirk, them did I get ready to leave the community. And man guardrails left behind from a curfew imposed almost a month ago were no deterrent for heavily armed killers who drove onto West Avenue in Dunkirk, East Kingston, in the daytime yesterday, leaving dead. In their wake, up to press time, the deceased men were only identified by their aliases, Yellow Man and his nephew, Binga, both of West Avenue addresses. Binga was reportedly assisting his mother, Yellow Man's sister, to load personal belongings onto a moving truck when a car drove up and the men alighted from the vehicle with guns blazing. The men tried to outrun their attackers but were not fast enough to escape their assailants. Them SHOT, one in the front yard, got over him and SHOOT him up and moved to the next one to the back of the side of the house. Them SHOOT him up and when them passed back, the first one that was KILL, them shoot him up some more, an alleged eyewitness told our news team. He described the attack as a mob invasion. The residents said a barrage of GUN fire exploded in the area. Personnel at the nearby Bellevue Hospital told our news team that the gunfire, which echoed across the mental health facility, was frightening. Several persons who converged on the scene along West Avenue, including Yellowman's eldest sister, questioned how the now deceased managed to leave himself exposed on a day like this. Several persons in the earshot heard as Yellowman's eldest sibling said the day was significant as he was one of several persons who was SHOT at the same location exactly a year ago. She also said November was their deceased mother, Miss Essie, birthday and she should have been um, at her graveside instead of the crime scene with her nephew and brother. Everybody are going left me. Today, a mama birthday. Out of seven brothers, a one may have left, you know. And a one day, I go to Bellevue, she said, while being comforted by a family friend. The premises where the deadly shooting occurred is known as Big Yard. A resident of 43 years said it was the first time she had ever experienced such a tragedy at their home. This never happened yet. And she worried for her picnic because... She no used to this. She hear GUN fire around, but not in her immediate presence, the woman said. In between asking the investigating officer to go check on her child, she too was dumbstruck as to why a day like November did not stand out enough to the now deceased for him to be more vigilant. At today, Miss Essie's birthday. Is a day like this in the night when them did shoot up the gate. When Daniel get shot, Champs get shot, Yellow Man get shot. A one year now and them not take sleep mark dead, the resident said. The area popularly known as Dunkirk, correctly near McIntyre Villa, has been tense for months. Some residents told our news team that they were expecting some sort of attack because of the tension in the space. They were closely monitoring the back entrance and took steps to secure fence lines and borders. To their surprise, the attackers took the front roadway to carry out destruction, leaving the family mourning the loss of two of its members. On October 16, National Heroes Day, three men were executed on neighboring Bray Street in the community. It has not yet been determined whether the incidents are related. The victims were identified as Mario Edley, Rick Smith, and another, and another identified only as Patrick. 
The security forces said the triple MURDER was gang related and a reprisal for the MURDER of a man known as Papai who was KILL on October 13. The police had imposed a 48 hour curfew in the space. The guardrails were still visible yesterday at the entrance to the roadway along Windward Road. The East Kingston Police Division, as at October 28, had recorded 60 murders one more than corresponding period in 2022. The Dunkirk residents who year on year experience bloodshed which reportedly stifles the community have been requesting a zone of special operation in the area since 2001. So we are going to move on to the next one, people. Leave your comment in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber and also like this video. Cops on for gunmen or gunmen after dramatic robbery of remittance outlet. Police investigators have launched a man on for two gunmen who reportedly robbed a money transfer outlet of cash and briefly abducted a female employee of the entity in CLM in Runaway Bay Saint Anne on Wednesday. The amount stolen from the establishment has not yet been determined. Reports reaching our news team are that about 12.35 p.m. two masked men entered the outlet with one brandishing a firearm and demanding money from a cashier. When the demand was not met, the accomplice reportedly used a hammer to smash a glass shield at the counter and then forcibly took an undetermined sum of cash from the establishment. During the incident, it is reported that an armed confrontation developed between the gunman and a licensed firearm holder, a female employee who was used as a human shield by the men was reportedly taken from the premises but was released unarmed a short distance away from the business outlet. The men then made their escape from the area. The police were subsequently contacted and a probe has been launched into the incident. So people, leave your comment also. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. And click the top bell icon after you subscribe. And give this video a thumbs up. So we are going to move on, people. Men SHOT and injured at wholesale in Clarendon. Two men were SHOT and injured while at a wholesale at Waterworks in Frankfield, Clarendon on Wednesday afternoon. The men, whose identities the police have not yet released, have since been hospitalized. Reports are that around 2 p.m., the men were at tour guide retail, wholesale and restaurant when a silver Subaru motor car drove up. One of the men highlighted from the vehicle, the police said, and opened gunfire at them. According to reports, one of the men was hit in his leg while the other received gunshot wounds to both legs. They were then rushed to hospital. A motive for the attack has not yet been established. So people, leave your comments in the comment section and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber and click that top bell icon to get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel and also give this video a thumbs up. So the next story, my people, man shot dead at entrance to KPH. Police lifts Evry Smith as person of interest. A man was shot and killed at the entrance to the Kingston Public Hospital on Wednesday. The shooting reportedly left hospital staff traumatized. The deceased has been identified as Robert Marley of Golden Heights, head of the Kingston West Police Division Senior Superintendent Michael Phipps said Evry Smith is being sought by investigators in relation to the incident. So guys, let me know what you're thinking at the comment section. And also again, my people, subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. And also, click the top bell icon to get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel. And my people, give this video a thumbs up. Please and thanks. So, people, that's all I have to share with you guys for right now so make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get notified whenever anything new is on the channel so bless upon yourself and thanks for watching